download uh, balleta each open folder you need to have a flash drive uh, 32 or 64 gigs okay um you will find this uh, mojave clover all-in-one okay this is just a simple mojave version but you can start it if you first first time on windows you just you can start easily easily away from this package so run uh, run this app and i need to install it because i don't have i, I will do the same process review okay this is a uh, icon open it open it uh, from file you need to select your file can uh, and uh, select your mojave which is dmg file uh, select target which is your flash drive i have mass storage usb drive which is e location um, if you have something um, something else choose something else but make sure this is not your main drive okay it has to be your usb drive usb stick okay uh, i will select one um, okay this mark mm, press next and um, yeah make sure everything is correct if you have some information or some data here try to back up before press flash because if you have some data there it's likely you will lose every single data okay i check as well by the way Okay, it's empty and flash and this will take uh, oh, a little bit of a time depends on your system in my case it's seven six or seven minutes so i just uh, pass here and return back later okay it's still a process you need to have your own efi for your computer Okay, in my case, this is uh, version 7, uh, Surface Pro 7, and this is open core version as well. You need to, you need to download your proper EFI, um, depends on your machine, right? It could be 5, 6 version, 7, 7 plus, whatever. Um, this is for my machine. And uh, what I need to do later, when I finish with my uh, USB storage, I will replace this EFI. Uh, the, the EFI with uh, these, because I need to have my own EFI uh, installed on, on, the, on this drive, because if you not install it, you probably will not boot the drive, okay? Um, okay, as you see, this is all done. We, we can come back here. Um, uh, drive. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, well, you see, this is not open, but sure, it's all there. Okay, next step we need to replace EFI folder. Okay, we just close this two, 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 flash flash complete success target great okay and you need to run two more apps one of them is a mini partition user which is uh, which is useful you, you just you need to use it so run as an initiator okay and you will see uh, first your disk which is my ssd you not you don't need to touch it but second 
thing you will see this is a icon for USB stick USB USB drive which is uh, uh, as you may see this is E uh, 5.7 gigs which is uh, which is your Mac Mac OS and the second folder E5 which is a smaller one and what what you need to do to use this E5 in your play in your place okay um, you only need to do hide and then unhide as well usually you don't need to hide you, you just need to unhide and set uh, your well your drive let's say x because i'm sure i don't have any x drives here okay um and yeah letter x and hide one partition and uh, set the letter x and y okay okay it's all done great and let's see okay we just we just see this is ea5 and this is by the way my z drive which is my system afi uh, i will show you by the way i will i i'm, I'm already using it. okay mm, this is a a5 from Fred flash drive which is over right here right okay next thing you need to have uh, your uh, explorer plus plus i provide all the links down below this video okay i already have it so i will open it and uh, to, to, to go to my computer let's see this is a drive go to my computer Stolen files in my case it's an explorer plus plus and this is important step run as administrator okay okay and uh, why you need to use it because from your windows system you're not able to reach okay you don't have a permission for this modify this but that's why we need this uh, Explore plus plus, which is free as well. Okay. Um, so as you see, this is my Z system, which is my EFI for my system, and this is EFI X, and this is a clover version. Okay. It's uh, already have some some EFI folder, but right now I'm prefer use. Uh, use open core version and what what I need to do just get this files copy them uh, remove or just create a folder backup here or something let's let's do this just in case maybe hmm, maybe you will need them for some reason okay back up folder okay this is a again this is all your file okay boom here copy from downloaded your file paste okay it takes uh, it takes a bit of a time okay just wait a bit we need to wait and copy and and it's, I have to say, it's almost all done. With, with the Explorer Plus Plus, you're able to copy and paste or remove or delete. Okay, this is your, remember, this is your X uh, EFI from flat drive on Windows. Close this um, that you have. Hide, uh, hide the partition. Okay, apply. Okay. okay, great. Check, check again. Uh, two, two, two. Two, two, two. Yeah, uh, you only see USB drive, which is uh, which is your bootable drive. Okay, and that's great. So uh, all we're all done. Yes, we quit, and just uh, you need to restart. 
Okay, we start everything. And hold. Oh, just before I start, hold power and it was open. Okay. Okay, this is a UAU file. And two, you need to change boot configuration. I have no interest in it. You need to set USB storage. Okay. So we will, we will boot from this card. Let me start now. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Just a, just a bit of a time to wait. If your EFI folder is right, you will be able to boot easily from your USB stick. It could take so a bit of time. Okay, um, you see this is in macOS, which is I have right now, and you have an option to install um, your system, which is uh, install macOS Mojave. But I will skip this, which is pretty straightforward process. Okay. That's probably it. Easy to create um, a USB bootable stick, which is great. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to this channel and uh, have fun. Have a good week. I hope you like this video.